I have a special thing for children's day. So here I have the chicken which I have first brined in salt water and now I put some corn flour, maida and soya sauce and one egg in this. So give it a good mix and then deep fry it. I'll show you after it's fully fried and ready. And one more thing I wanted to tell you everyone is that I have used boneless chicken pieces and I have deep fried this chicken. So I'm using olive oil. Today you can use any oil which you like. We are going to make the sauce, which we are going to put sauces in the sauce. So, first put some onions in a pan and make sure you have lots of onions because I have used a uh, half kg chicken, which I am putting half of this bowl of onions and only leaving a bit. So, make sure you chop them not finely, but just coarse. So, you should always remember whenever you're making something Chinese, you should have lots of garlic. You should have lots and lots of garlic. You should not have only this much. You should have as much as you can. You should have lots of it. So, put the garlic also all inside, but save just a bit for the fried rice, which I'm going to eat with it. So, now give it a stir and i'll see you when the onions are transparent the onions are translucent and now we are going to put some of the capsicum and when you're making chinese things you can never have too much of garlic so go ahead and put as much as garlic as you want and I'm going to save a bit of this capsicum for the fried rice. So after putting the capsicum, get a good stir. Now you can get a good smell of garlic, onion and capsicum. It's already smelling like the best chicken manchurian ever. Of the soya sauce and give it a good stir. Put one cup of dark soya sauce here so it will give a good color to this vegetable. Now I'll put some ketchup in this, just a, a bit, and now I'm putting some of this momo sauce in. I feel this is a really special ingredient, and I like to put it in all these Chinese dishes. Remember, this momo sauce, if you are putting it, don't put too much because the momo sauce gives spice also. So, if you are putting this momo sauce, there is no need to put any chilies. But, if you want some additional taste, even after putting this momo sauce, you can put some chilies. So, you can put how much ever momo sauce you want. I am putting one packet. Because I'm not making this chicken manchurian dry, chicken manchurian is gravy. After putting the cornstarch, give it a good stir. And now it's becoming into a gravy. Now in this curry, you can put how much ever water you want according to how much curry you want for this chicken manchurian. But don't put too much water otherwise it won't be a thick gravy. Is 
so this is just not any chicken manchurian and not this is crunchy crispy chicken manchurian so first take some of this crispy chicken don't mix it with the curry in that pan just keep it to the side and you can store it also separately from the curry don't mix it with the curry otherwise the crunch from the chicken will go so just take some pieces of chicken there a piece so crunchy so this method is the crunchy chicken method so just take some of the curry put it on top of it so in this method the chicken remains crunchy and the gravy has its taste so just put how much ever gravy you want and i'll see you on the dining table with my favorite food in the world Just taste and see how crunchy this is. Mm, mm. Mm. This is too good. Better than all the restaurant food. And you can see the link in the description box below to see the recipe of the fried rice. This chicken is crispy, crunchy, and this gravy is delicious. Mm, mm. We should definitely make this, especially for Children's Day. Mm. It is the best. So, today, thank you, everyone. And I hope you like this Children's Day special. And this food is yummy. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so happy Children's Day to all of you and to me too. Bye everyone and I'll see you in my next video.